All right, here is our daily analysis for the 28th of September, Monday. Okay, so New York is about to open right now. I've got the Aussie dollar in front of me, so let's start with the Aussie dollar. But before we start anything, we want to take a look at the news. All right, so this week, for those who trade the euro, we've got Lagarde speaking at 4.45. This is my time. You can set your timing from your location here. 5 p.m. consumer confidence not a lot of importance for me gdp gdp from the uk for anyone who's trading pound um lagarde speaks again on wednesday um this week important is non-farm employment plus that's on a wednesday plus we've got non-farm payroll coming out on friday so this is going to be the most important news and initial job loss claims in the middle on thursday this is going to be important as well for all of us eu leaders summit i don't think it's going to make a big deal uh, on any eu policy but the market will be looking and anticipating how this is going to come out all right so friday news is important non-farm payroll be mindful of that when the market starts getting closer to friday it'll start you know um, start moving in a tighter range all right so that's that in the meantime today is monday let's take a look at what's going on now we've got a new week ahead of us aussie dollar fell sharply and that sharp fall that far sharp fall will probably have a bit of a pullback all right so taking a look at the aussie dollar on the daily now we'll probably have a pullback over the course of uh, the next days towards 38.44 that should take us up towards 71 71.50 zone right so the market should kind of head up that way now this is a big fall so this is going to pick up a little bit all right so when it does pick up be mindful that the market will want to sell it off later on all right so we might still see this nice move upwards towards the 71 71.50 region there that shouldn't surprise us uh, if you want to trade it going up where should you start you should you can start from here okay this is how it's looking as you can see one two three four so the market pops its head back down to 71 20 and 71 region it's not a bad spot to go long again with a tight stop loss you can probably follow it through towards the weekly pivot if you want to buy on the white opening pivot i don't mind either uh, but the stop loss needs to be around 69.80 all right and if that's a little bit too far you need to keep your lots low all right so just be mindful where you're entering this white line the entry pivot is not a bad spot to get in either so if the market pulls back buying here is also an option all right aussie 200 let's take a look at the indices now on friday we had a nice rally up we've got the monthly in front of us right here okay let's get rid of this for the moment this is what the system looks like okay on the weekly What's this monthly weekly daily let's get rid of this on the weekly this is where we're at now what we want to do with this is just mark the top here now the system already marks marks the tops as you can see the channels and everything are on here all right in fact i don't need to draw anything here we're expecting the market to pop up and then we short it again mm, same kind of thing the first place to short this week you can short at 56.40 on the PST. that's 6115 6115 is about up here so about 6115 to 6127 region it's not going to be a bad spot to be shorting will it go long until then i think so yeah would you like to buy during october i think so yeah all right so nice little triangle here breakout targets at the top there look at that it did the goodbye kiss today okay and just 
breakout Friday, goodbye kiss today. So we've got room to go up. Where should you get in today? If the market pulls back, which I don't know if it will, looking at what looking at what it's doing right now. If it does pull back, you should go long. Can you go long here? It's a bit tight, but it's a bit tight, but yeah. What you can do is this. If you want to go long here, it's a bit at a resistance level, okay? But we've got room to go up. So after this breakout up, going long is not a bad idea. Keep your stop loss under 54, 5,962. All right, stop loss needs to be there. So you don't have to put a stop loss too far out, okay? It needs to be underneath this 54 number. So 5,962 is around here anyway. So just keep it around 5,962. 60 kind of all right just around there you don't want to go too too long too you don't want to put it too far down alternatively you can wait this week all right you can wait this week for a pullback to go along as well but like i said keep a stop loss tight and going up from here is logical and let's take a look at dax DAX, same kind of thing moving up. Let's see this week. First stop place at 56.23, that's 12,950. This will probably have room to go up. Nice breakdown. We're either going to sell off here or at the top here. DAX might come up to a double top. Okay. If it does, that's going to be a place where we're going to be selling hard. All right. So with the channel bottom coming up to the channel top and even pushing a little higher to get to a double top would be awesome and we would like to we would like to do that okay so just keep it in mind so going long is an option nice breakout happening here if the market pulls back go long again it's a good spot you could do it with a tight stop loss if you want to wait for a pullback do so not a problem just don't enter at resistance levels when you're buying if you want to buy, let it pull, pull back to a support level. All right, and the, the initial first support level on the price is going to be here. Okay, let me get rid of these. All right, so on the system, this is a blue line here. That's your first support level. If it comes back to the weekly, definitely get in. All right, if it just pulls back a little bit here with the US opening or whatever, just go long from there. Let's take a look at Dow Jones. Dow Jones. New week. We've got room to go up. I don't want to be taking this goodbye kiss for a short because the PST has gone over it. Okay, so the PST is already above the goodbye kiss. So be mindful. Here we've got the bottom of the channel. Nice move up from Friday. It's just going up. Okay, this is just, it looks like October, we're going up as usual. All right, just going to go up. So on the pullbacks, go long. If the market pulls back to the weekly level, definitely go long. All right. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Euro dollar had a nice fall. This, like the Aussie, will probably pick up a little bit. Just like with the Aussie dollar, I think if it pulls back, there's an opportunity to buy in order to go up to short again. So over the course of October, we, we want to be looking up for a good buy kiss. All right, so this is the first level of sub, uh, resistance. If it goes above here, we could be going up. Okay, we could be going all the way up to 51.96. That should put us to 17.80. So that'll be a target. And that's not a surprise. We've got 17.44 here which is going to be a good buy kiss level there and slightly above 1780 on that white line, which I drew as well. It matches nicely. Where to go long? You can go long on the daily pivot here. If the, if the market pulls back, you can do that. Um, or the white line. So the daily pivot or the white line, they're good. Okay, so they're good to go. Let's do gold. 
I'm not going to do pounds because there's so much Brexit stuff in there. I just don't want to be in dealing with it. Gold, nice little push up today. Resistance level looks like we're going up with gold as well. There's an opportunity to go long and to keep buying. Okay, so we'll probably end up at 1888. And we'll see how things go from there. If the market pulls back, I'd be going long. We've got room to go long. I think this is the this is where the buck stops. On the monthly, we're back at the 60. Um, no, we're back at the retracement levels here at 71.69. And I think this is going to be an opportunity to start a long-term trend again. All right, nice little move. If it pulls back, I'd go long. Let's take a look at New Zealand dollar USD. Same as the Aussie dollar. I suspect this will this will pick up. Let's do this. What's going on? So I suspect this will also have some pickup time. Nice double top. Okay, so trend was going up, double top, telling us trend might reverse. If it pulls back to a good buy kiss, you want to be selling it. Straightforward. All right, let it move up, short it down. Let's take a look at silver. Same as gold. Nice pullback, pretty much on the trend line. Bottom of the channel, beautiful. What can I say, beautiful? Just go long and make money. All right, nice. Nicely moving up here. A good spot. We'll probably come up to 23.75, 80 zone this week. So this will probably come up this week. We'll probably get to the weekly pivot anyway, All right, before people start doing a bit of profit taking. Let's take a look at SP500. Okay, just like the others, it's moving up. I'd buy it if it came down. Definitely. Nice little goodbye kiss zone. Remember, we're in a sideways market now. Okay, breakdown. Goodbye kiss. There's an opportunity for the market to pull back here, actually. If it does, it'll give you an opportunity to go long, actually. Because we've got room to go up on the weekly. And here, if you're going to buy, keep your stops tight and your lots low don't go in heavy all right so if your money management normally tells you i don't know one lot just go in with 0 0.2 0 0.3 why because the market had a big fall if you're going to go and buy at the support keep your risk low we want to do what we want to do is one two maybe we'll come up a little bit more on the weekly let's see we can still we've still got room to go, come up in October okay so this could be the beginning of an October hike and then a November fall kind of thing so be mindful on this indices are good to go up I reckon okay are good to go up just make sure you put your retracement levels up here so we don't have any misunderstandings in the market all right this is the 29th 09. Why have I got this here? Let's put this away. Let's take a look at dollar CAD. Good spot to sell today would be 34.23. Yeah, 34.35 region. Okay. So this is not a bad spot to be shorting the Canadian dollar. All right. So as you can see, the goodbye kiss went straight through there. Logical, because you've got room to go up. So if the system is telling you, listen, there's room to go up, you know, obviously you don't want to push your luck. All right. And that's your goodbye kiss there. All right. So this is not a bad spot to be selling off. It matches PST levels. There you go. So I should have gotten that goodbye kiss right matching it there as well this is a good level to be short in 
dollar franc. Dollar franc. I'd be shorting at 48.56, which is 93. If it comes to 93, that's not a bad spot to short. 93, 93.05. Good to short if the market comes up here. Why? Because on the weekly channel top PST level, okay, plus 93.25 target there. So it's got an opportunity to get there. And that's a good spot to be selling it off again. Dollar yen. Dollar yen, I don't know what to do with the dollar yen. Today is the weekly, let's see, let's take a look at the weekly. I'd only sell it off if it came to 105.94 or 106.14 region. Other than that, I'm not, I'm not touching the dollar yen. Okay, would I buy anywhere? I don't know. Today, I mean, I wouldn't touch the dollar yen. I'm just not clear on this. It's sideways. It's just too choppy. It's just too choppy. Leave it alone. Let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil daily chart. We've got room to go up. We've got room to go up. So this might be coming up all the way to 55 and 58. 41.20 or $40.80. So we're probably gonna see some oil, oil price going up. Okay. Let's do that there. All right, that looks like about it. Okay, so a little wrap up. We've got non-farm payroll, very important on Friday. If you're gonna trade, just be relaxed and just don't trade with too heavy lots, all right? Just trade with light lots, <clears throat> okay? Even if you're doing a demo, you should just <clears throat> set your money management like you're trading a real account, okay? And just trade in the same way, okay? Don't say this is a demo account and I'll just do whatever I want. And also keep your journals as usual, guys, so that we can definitely just follow our history. All right, so just move with the market. So on the indices, we had nice falls. Now I want to look for a bit of a pullback. I want to reach those channel tops again or to those retracement levels again so that we can look for opportunities to short it. With gold, silver, we've got good opportunities to be buying. So you should be in there on the pullbacks. All right. And until we confirm the directions, when you're buying and selling, just make sure, like I said, your lots are low, right? So you're keeping um, lower um, volume on your trading. All right. All the best. Good luck.